This is what many Pakistanis call evidence of an American war with their country. Rare images from the remote... In June 2012, a video clip was smuggled out of the besieged region of Waziristan, Pakistan. NBC aired 43 seconds of it, showing a ruin. The aftermath of a U.S. drone strike in the city of Miran Shah, in which four people had reportedly been killed. From the way the video clip was shot, shakily, cautiously, well back inside a room, we perceive the videographer's sense of danger. This is precious evidence delivered in perilous circumstances. The video shows the distinct architectural signature of drone strikes. A small hole in the ceiling suggests a missile has entered the room. But there is a problem. In publicly available satellite images, each pixel represents a square of 50 by 50 centimetres. This hole is smaller than the size of a single pixel and cannot be seen on the satellite image. The evidence of a drone strike is thus below the threshold of detectability. But the video clip can provide a rare ground-level perspective of a strike, which we investigate frame by frame. The direction of the shadows in the video indicates a northwards orientation. We create a panoramic collage from the still frames of the video, looking for distinct features. On the left, we can see a change in the direction of the road. On the right, a road that widens. We can compare these distinctive details to satellite images and use these to confirm the location. Then we build a computer model of the building. Based upon the path of destruction, we reconstruct the trajectory of one of the missiles. We locate the room where the missile has exploded, inside the building. Parts of the video have been filmed inside that room. We combine the still frames from the video into a single panoramic collage and fit this into our model. There are hundreds of small traces on the wall caused by the steel fragments of the blast. We locate and analyze each of these fragments. The fragmentation pattern is less dense in parts, suggesting something may have absorbed the shrapnel before reaching the wall. It is possible that the absence of fragments indicate the places where people were killed. The shadow of the bodies is inscribed in the architecture of the room. Each fragment has hit the wall at a different angle. We run the blast backwards to reconstruct the location of the explosion in mid-air. This confirms the use of a delay fuse missile. This missile is an architectural technology able to cut through layers of walls, floors and roofs before detonating deep within a building. Rather than reducing casualties, the architectural precision of these missiles enabled their widespread deployment within urban areas. Domestic buildings have been hit more than any other type of target. There has been as many as 4,000 civilian deaths due to drone strikes in Pakistan alone.